Hey folks, Will Brink here at BrinkZone.com and a topic I want to cover is absorption, absorption of nutrients. Now this is actually a uh, really complicated topic. Uh, one of the mistakes I, I find a lot of people make uh, regarding human digestion is they just sort of think uh, you eat some food or some supplements and it goes into a vat of acid, gets stirred around and gets absorbed. And that is, uh, couldn't be any farther from the truth. Uh, human digestion is actually a, a very complex process that actually even to this day they are still discovering uh, new things about human digestion and you're talking about uh, obviously acidic environment and exposure to a bunch of enzymes and uh, emulsification and uh, beyond that once you break all that down and the body's ready to absorb it you're talking about things such as uh, diffusion, passive diffusion, uh, active transport and a whole bunch of other things that go on to take those foods and those supplements, whatever you eat, and break them down, which is not obviously a technical term, but uh, break them down into components the body can then absorb and so forth. And along the way, as you'd expect, a lot of things can and do go wrong, which is why, uh, you know, very few things are absorbed at 100% uh, and so forth. So take that out of your mind. Uh, I've seen a lot of uh, oddball comments uh, from people about, I'm, you know, regardless of some other videos or other talks about how sure they are that you know, if it gets to the acid, it must get absorbed in any way. So that's not the case. Uh, there's a number of, of key components to uh, digestion and absorption. And, and because it's a really complicated topic, I'm going to try to just keep it kind of narrow, really narrowly focused. And what I want to talk about uh, is solubility. Uh, solubility is a, a key component of absorption. It, the body has to solubilize uh, anything it's going to absorb to get absorbed. And when I say solubilized, uh, I'll give you a real simple uh, example. Uh, I take a, a glass of water and some sugar and stir it in there and the sugar disappears. Well, basically the sugar is now solubilized in the water. It's a solute. It's, it, there's still a molecule of, of sugar in the water and water molecules, but it's not become one, one thing. It's actually a solute. You could actually get the sugar back out of that water if you wanted to use the right process. So understanding solubility, uh, compounds, medications, supplements, what have you that have poor solubility tend to be poorly absorbed. And again, I, I'm generalizing, but that's generally the case. And when they have medications that don't get absorbed really well and supplements and stuff, improving their solubility often dramatically improves their absorption. So that's sort of a, a really simplified, uh, a simplified way of looking at it, but it is the correct way. Uh, there are a number of technologies sometimes that get applied uh, to things that are poorly soluble to improve their uh, solubility for absorption, some of them are real just old tech stuff such as micronization, uh, some emulsifications, uh, my, my cells, there's a, there's a number of, of technologies and again some of these technologies uh, can only be applied to certain compounds, to certain things. They don't apply to everything or, or sometimes they're prohibitively expensive or any number of problems and so a, anything you're trying to absorb that is poorly absorbed uh, you have to look at the, the specific technology. And there's a lot of new technologies that are coming out, and that's what we're getting to uh, actually in this video. Um, some of the, and as we, as we uh, extract more stuff from more foods and fruits and vegetables, we come along new compounds that have uh, new problems and new issues of absorption. And of course, people have always, I've heard about things like grape skin extracts, uh, curcumin, uh, green tea extracts. These are all fairly new, and research is, is looking at them. And one of the problems with some of the new things that we come up with is that they are uh, highly insoluble and they are very poorly absorbed. Uh, probably a textbook example of that uh, is curcumin. Uh, curcumin has shown a, a tremendous potential health benefits, anti-cancer, immune supporting, so on. But as an extract, as an isolated extract, it is very poorly absorbed. In fact, um, they have fed people very large amounts of curcumin, 10, 12, 20 grams of curcumin, and found uh, almost non-detectable amounts of curcumin in their blood, meaning it was not getting absorbed. Uh, and don't worry if I'm, if I'm kind of rushing through this, uh, I will link you to a full article that covers a lot of this in depth right here. Check it out. Uh, that goes into some more discussions about talking about solubility and, and uh, extracts and all that. So don't worry about it. I have to talk fast because I don't want to make long videos and uh, bore the hell out of people. So. Back to the technologies, as more things uh, we learn about that may have potential benefit, that have maybe sports applications, whatever, and then you feed them to people and animals and, and, and along the lines as, the, as they go through the uh, pharmacokinetic studies and stuff, which is just a fancy way of sort of saying 
um, absorption, utilization, where does it all go, how long does it stay in the body. That's a, a, a term, pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics, which is a, uh, a biochem term, um, which you learn in medical school and various science places. Don't worry about it. The issue being, um, we have various extracts, mostly from plants, but other places that, again, sometimes they show to be um, poorly absorbed and uh, insoluble, or at least it's poor solubility. And again, there's, they've also shown this with medications. There's various medications that, if they are uh, poorly soluble, uh, don't get absorbed well. So, uh, a fairly recent technology, because uh, I do, again, communicate with, uh, do consulting work for, and so forth, a variety of companies that um, do come out with new technologies, and one of the new and interesting technologies uh, is from Glambia Nutritionals, and uh, it's called Phytoforce, and it's a peptone based uh, technology that dramatically enhances the solubility of some of these plant-based uh, extracts that I'm talking about. Uh, and what I'm actually going to do at the end of this video is I'm going to actually do a, a, an actual demonstration for you of, of straight curcumin extract versus the phytoforce to give you an idea of what that looks like when something is almost essentially insoluble. But uh, again, the, the way the body handles insoluble compounds, of course, whether they're water soluble, whether they're fat soluble, if something is fat soluble, it has to go through a quite, a, a quite a few additional processes as a rule for absorption of the body. And again, uh, that's something you can look up on your own. So just sort of keep in mind the basic importance here is the concept of, of, of solubility and improving solubility of, of fairly insoluble compounds will improve their absorption and obviously their effect. Because if you're taking in uh, you know, 20 grams of curcumin, which nobody does, and none of it's getting into your blood, obviously it's not doing you a whole lot of good, at least internally. There obviously are actual benefits to the digestive tract, uh, actually. So, uh, at the end of this video, um, I'm going to do a, a nice little demonstration to show you what I'm talking about in this new technology. I would say this technology is, would be particularly of interest if you are in the supplement industry. This is not technology that you can buy uh, retail and, you know, on the store shelf and add it to your supplements or anything. This is a technology that is uh, basically, four companies looking to uh, use them on some of their products that they are have ingredients or are single compounds that are known to be poorly soluble, of which there are a number. Uh, so if you are in the supplement industry, uh, this would be of particular interest to you, I think, and you'll want to click through that article that I mentioned again and, and get the details. There's also contact info uh, if you want to uh, contact uh, uh, Glamby Nutritionals about their new technology. So I hope that uh, in a very tight space, in a very short time, uh, and a very complicated topic kind of gives you an idea of, of how important, uh, how complex uh, the, the process of human digestion can be. And uh, again, as, we, as the science continues and more new and interesting things come out that are available to us, to our health, uh, also comes along uh, it, uh, problems of, of absorption and utilization and clearance and so on and so on. So take a look at this video. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, cut to the, the close-up uh, of the experiment, and I hope it uh, helps you guys out to understand... Uh, what's out there, and I'll see you all on the brink. Okay, so now I'm going to do a little experiment uh, which illustrates some of what I was discussing in the video. I've got 30 ml of water in both of these. Uh, in this packet I've got the uh, some curcumin with the Phytoforce uh, technology, and in this packet we have basically a straight curcumin extract. So I'm going to put them in there, I'm going to give them a stir, I'm going to see what happens. Uh, it's the first time I've tried this myself, so let's see what happens. Alright, this is straight curcumin, straight up curcumin extract, which I guess you could refer to as control. Okay, and this, get this good bad boy going. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, so, give this guy a stir. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but basically it nothing happens. It literally makes no uh, no entry into the water whatsoever. I'm going to give this guy a stir. Okay, that one looks a little better. And what I will do is we'll try something a little more uh, a little more vigorous here. I will put the cap on and give him a good shake. Okay, and this of course is really more. I don't know if you can see, but basically the phytoforce, as you can see, is basically uh, solubilized. It has gone into the solution 
and hopefully you can see that basically the straight curcumin is just literally just sitting sitting on top of the water and just is not is not uh, absor not sorry absorbing is the wrong word is not solubilizing is not mixing and that I can tell you is one of the reasons a primary reason actually that curcumin uh, is very poorly absorbed as are a lot of phytonutrients that are derived from plants and other sources uh, coenzyme Q10 was another one that again other technologies have been applied to it to improve its absorption so hopefully you can see that but anyway uh, that just gives you an idea of some of the newer technologies that are coming out uh, that will improve solubility and should improve uh, absorption so hopefully that uh, gives you a, a real-world demonstration of the differences of uh, totally insoluble versus uh, soluble compounds and uh, hope this helps give this video if you like if you like it you know thumbs up and all that and I'll see you guys on the brink zone <laughs>